Hi, I'm Maureen McKenzie with Arts and Culture for the City of Lacombe, and we are here at the Lacombe Memorial Center with a new art exhibition that we're in the process of hanging. It comes from the students at the Lacombe Composite High School, and I'm so excited to be here with teacher Stacy Hunter and her, one of her students, Emily Clark, who we're going to be talking to to understand how important arts are for students and for our community. So Emily, I'm really pleased that you're here. This is one of your works, and I love your use of color and blending. And so can you tell our audience a bit about it? Um, it's actually when I was younger. Uh -huh. And I've been dancing for 12, almost 13 years at dance. So that's like a big chunk of my life. Uh -huh. And this is actually my first dance costume ever. My mom still has it somewhere oh. in our house. And um, I remember this was like a preschool photo, so mm -hmm. I combined it the two because I'm graduating this year too in school. Wonderful. So I combined the two because I'm basically graduating from dance and school at the same time. Goodness, and I hope you're planning on continuing both. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Stacy, thank you once again for sharing your students' artwork with our community. It's so important to us. Uh, I, you know, I'm just thrilled that uh, the community and Maureen that you offer opportunities for us to be able to participate and show what we do, and the fact that students can engage and uh, just contribute who they are to to the community. I think that's such a wonderful thing that we can be doing. So Absolutely. Thank you. And you know what I truly love about you as a teacher is you that. Your students express themselves, how they how they're feeling, how, how what kind of creativity they want to do. To me, it doesn't look like it's very prescriptive. You're letting them be creative, but giving them guidance in in composition and, and colors and values and things. Is that correct? That is correct at the 35 level, which is the show that's currently on display here at the LMC. Um, it's whatever the students are really passionate about that they are doing and I'm coaching them in you know form and how to get the techniques that they want to make the effect that they want um, but no it is their choice at that at the senior level you bet. that's wonderful I, I wish I'd had that when I was in high school that's for sure <laughs> and your students are great participants in the student art competition at the Encore Art Show in Salem each April yeah and You've had um, winners in the past, yeah. yeah. And can you express how important the Arts Endowment Fund is to your students, perhaps? Yes, it's pretty huge. Uh, the Arts Endowment Fund, um, what it does for students is, number one, it, it gives them confidence that somebody uh, values their work. And that's huge for us, and it's huge for artists. And it makes them feel like they are contributing to the community. And this is a uh, reward, not that we do this kind of thing for that sort of reward, but it's just a little nod to say, yes, uh, what you do has merit. Um, it also, in some cases, students have used it towards uh, their own schooling, post-secondary, or they put it to art supplies. So just like any artist, when they get awards or grants, um, they're putting it to good use. And I think it also just gives a student an opportunity to be able to think that, you know what, this community is supporting me, and I want to, in turn, support back. So it's, it's just a great relationship, I think. Mm -hmm. And your students have always been so great in assisting with hanging the art, which is what we're starting to do here, or helping uh, during the Encore Art Show and Sale getting that artwork done. So we really appreciate that, too. Now, at this point in time, we are creating a new student art award. It's the Bob Carrer Memorial Student Art Award through the Arts Endowment Fund. That one uh, will go along with the Jan Holoboff Junior High School Award, the Charlie Donald Senior High School Award, the uh, Dustin Pierce Memorial Drawing Award, and we're hopefully going to be able to have a, an abstract or multimedia award, and that perhaps may be where Bob Carrera's uh, funding will go towards because Bob was so creative with mixed media and abstract. So if you have the capability, we would love it if you could um, consider the Lacombe Arts Endowment Fund this Christmas for a donation. If you're looking for a, if you need a tax break or you're tired of all the uh, Black Friday kind of stuff, we'd love to have you um, participate with us in the Arts Endowment Fund through a donation. 
To do that, you can go to lacombe.ca slash arts endowment fund, or just pop into City Hall and we'd be happy to help you. Stacy, thank you again for being here, for being such an incredible art teacher for the students. Can't say enough about you, your students and the high school program, it's wonderful. Thank you for hosting us. As I mentioned, it's such a wonderful opportunity to be able to come here, and thank you for opening your the forge from the town to display work. We appreciate it. And look home to the high school students, and I do. Great. Thanks so much, and thank you for watching, and uh, have a wonderful holiday season.